Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not you know my dad. Man, walk on. hey man, check it, man. Hey man, guess what just happened, man? We just landed in Chicago, man. It's going down, man. Hey man, these cats down here, man. Hey, they a little bit different, man. I've been listening at this music, man. This music is going down. You hear me, mm-hmm. man? Hey man, and these young niggas is here, man. I, I, I was coming down here to do a, a you know, I said I was coming to do. Uh, a couple of these pioneers, man, and he cats right here that everybody know. Everybody when they see him on the podcast, oh yeah, he was on Gilly the Kid. Oh yeah, he was on this. He was on Gilly. But what about when I do this to him right here, man? Check it, man. It's that boy, little Chris in the building, man. Man, you already know who it is, man. man. How you doing, man? man I'm cool, man. Man, it's good cool. to have you, man. Thank you for coming so, on our show, man. Man, I'm glad to be. Man, hell, man, you know. Man, hey, so, man. So, bless. hey, man, man, just tell me, you know. uh Man, being from being from down here, man, you know, you hear all the stories, man. You know what I'm saying? You hear everything about what's going on. We're going to get in all that. We about to get in your background. This is what we do on Boss Talk. It's so, just a conversation. We just talking. Mm-hmm. So, you know, what do you think about it, Mr. Jamaica? How you like in Chicago, man? We down here. No, I love Chicago. Yeah, we've been down here before. So, you know what I'm saying? But we never had Boss Talk when we was down right. there before. So Boss Talk is just a year old. So when we, man, when we when we started Boss Talk, we never knew it was going to take off like this. And it just, bam, just took off. So what I love the most about Chicago, this trip around is the people. Everybody has been just talking to us and having us, you know, feel welcome and stuff like that. So that's what oh, I love yeah, the man. most about it's it. Smooth people, man. Yeah. Other than that, of course, I love the water. So, well, the people uh, talked to us the first time, and just yeah. with the white people, we stayed at the <laughs> W. We <laughs> stayed away from these niggas. We had heard all these horror stories. When we came back, we came to Naperville. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We uh, we really wasn't trying to hear this inner city stuff. To, they got us scared to come in on the south side and on the west side. Mm-hmm. This time, I just happened to get some of that chicken. What's the name of that chicken place down there? Uh, uh, Harold's yeah. Chicken. Yeah, so I, I I had stopped by Harold, nigga. That and CC, it is not the best. <laughs> Okay. No, it ain't, it ain't so you saying it ain't better than Rudy's? It ain't better than Rudy's. Check it, man. At all. Texas, man. Not even better than what you call it? The one down there in, is it Mississippi? Or Alabama? Green Acres down Green there. Acres. And, and uh, it's in uh, Birmingham, they can't Alabama. can't even touch Green Acres, man. much less. Hey, man, no, I ain't going to just hate on them because I'm going tomorrow. I'm not hating on them. I ain't going to hate on them. I'm saying. going tomorrow. The one we went to today, uh, we we there, there's a chain of these things around here. So we want to make sure we didn't just, you know, jump off in the wrong one. So we got to hit that right one, man. Look, Chris, what's up, man? So where they banging at, nigga? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, man. So, man, being from down here, man, growing up as a kid, man. Um, speak right up to the mic. What part of Chicago are you from? Yeah, south side, man. Oh, that boy from the south side. Yeah. So how is it? Yeah. Go ahead. How is it, man? You grew up here, born and raised. Yeah, man. Born and raised, man. I mean, it's, if you don't go on the wrong street, man, you would be smooth. That's all. Really? Yeah, you just gotta be cool. That's all, man. So you say going on the wrong street? What? Explain, yeah, like, like what's the wrong street, nigga? I don't know no streets, like, nigga. I mean, it's a lot going down, you know. So. You gotta be on your P's and Q's all the time. You feel me? Like, man, you gotta keep somebody with you at all times, and you know, be watching your back at all times. You feel me? I mean, if you ain't in nothing, you, you ain't really got nothing to worry about. You just gotta look around yourself. You know, watch your surroundings. That's is all. this gangs? Gang related? Yeah, gang. That's all. That's all it is. Yeah. Okay, but it's gangs out here. Is not like gangs in L. A. No man, it's totally different. They both different, but they got their own uh, poison. Where did gangs out here originate? Is it just from out here? Because you know, no, you had you you have you have a history of stump down history out here. You got the gangs, the disciples. You got the right. vice lords. You got oh, the what they call that black. Uh, BD. Yeah, all that, yeah, all that. So you know, you got but all that originated all that, from here. Yeah, that's that's yeah. that's here. 
Okay. Yeah, you in it. I, I wasn't sure if it originated from here because Check just it, like man. how you have Bloods and Crip that originated from L.A., but it has spread all around the world. That's why I'm trying to figure out was it originated somewhere else and then start, you know, came I mean, here. It ain't really that. No more people making their own games. Mm. So it's, it's a lot of them. Man, it's, it, uh, it, it's, it's funny, man. Like, you grew up here, right? Yeah. Uh, did you grow up in, in your house with your mom or your dad? Mom. So how did how, how did you what you didn't have parents? No. So I so my, what do you mean by now? I have my auntie. Why? So you know, you don't know yeah. your dad? Yeah, I know my dad. I be around my pops all the time. He was just locked up, you know. Like how, okay. Shit, how old you know? were you? I was like what seven. Seven. Yeah. So you remember him being there for you before seven, or you don't remember that? Ah uh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember a little glimpse. So you know, I was young. So how long was he young? About what? From now it was like a couple of years, like ten years. No, no. Ten years. Yeah. From and so, time. where was your mom at? I mean, sh I don't know. I ain't gonna lie to you. So you never seen her, never met her in your life. I mean, yeah, I, I met her. I've been around her when I was younger. I mean, but was it drugs? Uh, no, nah, it wasn't no drugs or nothing like that, man. It's just, I mean, the relationship. Just, I mean, you feel me, like. So you never had a relationship with your mom from the jump? No, I did. <laughs> what? Look, how bro, old was it look, when? Look, when I, I'm gonna tell you like, tell you like this, man. You feel me? Like when I don't, you don't conversate with people. You feel me? Like when you, you can't find nobody that don't want to be found. You feel me? So at yeah. that time, man, you can't be chasing people when you get a certain age. You like, man, you can't. You feel me? So you basically, you you were young and she really just wasn't there like she should be as a mother. I mean, yeah, she was at at the time. Like you know, I. Go over a crib and all my auntie will drop me off over there. You feel me, like? So your, your auntie time, you had had custody of you. Yeah. So your yeah. auntie really raised which is, you. Which is yeah. your mom's sister or your dad's sister? Um, my my dad auntie. That's my great auntie. Oh, your dad auntie. Okay. Yeah. And, and so you, what would have caused parents to disconnect from a child like that? You see what I'm saying? I know the yeah, system man. will catch you up. Ten yeah, years man, and uh, definitely. For a yeah. For t so did you ever have to? Did you ever? Are you the only child though? Nah, I got like, I like seven, seven, what? yeah, seven brothers and sisters. I got five brothers and what, three sisters, I think. By yeah. different mom and dad, but yeah. are you the only one by the same mom and dad? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you weren't the only one going through this, or? Nah, no, nah, no, no. like all my all my siblings is. You feel me? How did that make you feel? As much as you had your your grand aunt there for you, giving you support, how did it feel not to be able to have your mom and your dad in your life growing up as a young man? I mean, I just had to deal with it, you know. I mean, I had to. I was forced to. You feel me? Like grow up, like you feel me? Like fast. So I had to take on responsibility quick. You feel me? Like I had to go out there and get it. You know, I, you know, you be everybody on. I grew up in the area. Everybody on their phones and shit. So you know. I mean, my bad. It's you all know, good. I be saying, you feel me? You will see, you know, little nice. Everybody with nice stuff and you know, design and all that. So, you feel me? I wanted that, so, so I, I had to go out there and get it. You feel me? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you like to have those? What you like? What you? What, what's the? What's yeah. you get to say? Designer? Nigga. What's that? BB Simon? Uh, what? What is that? Uh, nigga, what you wearing? Uh, Gucci, Gucci or yeah, Fendi? Man. Uh, 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 that D, uh, that uh, Dior. Dolce, <laughs> Dior, all that, Prada. Man. Yeah. You like yeah. all that designer? No, nah, not now, man. I but back know. then you did. Yeah, back then I really wanted it. I'm you know, like, I think it nice. I think me? people sometimes now like kind of back off from like designer like that. Yeah, I don't it's really it's kind of like people beginning to wear their own brand a lot, yeah, bro. Sure, like people man. like I'm gonna go create you this might, myself. Wear your own stuff. You feel yeah. I've been seeing because, that way for been, a minute been, now. Yeah. yeah, for sure, man. I it's have been, but that's good. Or they'll. Promote other black owned businesses They promote other people's business Their friends People that they really support You know what I mean? Well back in the days they did that Y'all was too young to remember But back during the Africa Bambada And like mm -hmm. the African flags and stuff People were more prone to wear things That represented our people our And niggas would, niggas would stick their hands up Power to the people And it was there was a real uh, 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 it, We embraced each other mm -hmm. more at the mm -hmm. time So I, I hope we're getting back to that mm -hmm. But Okay, look, Chris. Uh, you, 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 you in 
Chicago, what side of town are you on? Are you on? Okay, I'm not from here, nigga. When I think about this town, I think about Lil Dirk. I think about uh, 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 Chief Keith. I think about uh, 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 Kanye West. I think Amen. about uh, 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 Obama, Michelle Obama. Uh, uh, I'm trying to figure this thing out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here in, in your city. Um, you from the South Side. Yeah. Um, you basically you don't I, I know you're doing your thing sure. you love your music what made you jump into music man yeah. and I how mean, old were you I was like I've been in the music like you know I was at lunch tables you know like freestyling and rapping and stuff I mean um, but my cousin I mean you know he started he's like man you might as well take it serious you know I, I wanted to uh, play football like real serious like you feel me like go pro with it um, like what position? Running back. Um, nigga, what, what you running the forty, nigga? Stop man, capping on my show, nigga. Man, what you run on in the man. forty, nigga? What you run? <laughs> no, I, don't, I ain't. You no ain't dancing, run no four man. two. Man, I ain't do none of that. I just ran the ball, man. But when you hit the po when you hit the hole, would you? Would, I mean, would you hurt your Walker, or was you? Uh, 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 you know, I'm from Dallas. Well, I, I live in Dallas. Yeah. I'm from Texas. So were you, were you, you Chicago Bears? Who was that? Yeah. Oh, you, would you refrigerate a Perry right there? <laughs> you was, you wasn't even born when that nigga was running the ball. Yeah. Who the hell was you like? Like you was, who was that new nigga that ran off and left y'all team? He quit on y'all. AB nigga, nigga, leave mm. y'all. Who, <laughs> Who who who, oh, man, who do you think Bears, who do you man. think who do you think that uh, my boy played for the Bears? Man. My boy Taylor Gabriel, shout out man. That's my yeah. guy. Yeah, that's my we he oh, grew up so in my man. store. So As a kid, he before he got to y'all, he was with no, me. Bears was yeah. hard, man, but I don't like, You be hurt behind man, them when they be losing. Well, man. Like damn, man. I'll be tripping. <laughs> so let me let, help me understand, man. Like, like what is what is what is it that makes you want to rap? And whose style would you say you kind of like? They would compare you to when you when you rapping when you dropping lyrics. Who would they say you like? He rhymed like such. Have you heard that people say? Mm. Me. I got my own stuff. I don't rap like nobody. So you different from everybody. Yeah. Really? So I'm versatile. I can all that. You go hard in the paint. For so sure. I don't really rap like nobody. I don't, Man. I don't feel like that. I mean, I ain't really heard nobody. You feel me? Say, oh, you rap like somebody else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because a lot of people usually end up ten. Um, Ten, have tendencies to rap like the person that they look up to most. The person that they, when you first started listening to rap music, the songs that you liked, that rapper, that like, man. Man, swear. So you didn't just swear. like anyone? Uh, Keith. Okay. All the Chicago rappers. So you have I a Chicago know. style of rapping. Yeah. I mean... I mean, that's what I grew up listening to, like, you feel me, like, or if I'm in a, like, if my auntie calls something, you know, she put on jazz, you know, mm -hmm. she put on her jams, I mean, but when I, you know, I'm around my cousin and them, you know, my uncles and them, you know, they put on, they put on uh, hip-hop, feel me, you know, shit. So where do you see the rap taking you? I mean. What do you want to get out of it? I just want to feed my family out of it, like, you know, get everybody out of the struggle. Um, man, it don't feel good to struggle, you feel me? Like, it's a lot of people that's trying to make it for real. You feel me? I just want to help me. You know, people, like, you feel me, get to where they're going. Already. It feel good, man. We already got life hard, man. You feel me? Might as well just all have money. Mm -hmm. You know, help everybody else. Uh, what like. are you doing to, to get there? I mean, right now, I'm trying Other than just rapping, yeah. but, like, business-wise, what uh, building a team-wise... Um, research. I mean, just anything. Like as far as rapping and stuff. Rapping or being a brand, because that's what a rapper is in today's society. <laughs> yeah, you I have mean, to be your own brand. I mean, I'll be rapping like you feel me, like as a hobby. And, like I don't really. I ain't so you haven't taken it serious. Yeah, I'll be like putting stuff on YouTube, and I I know how to put it up up on you feel me, like all the platforms and stuff. But what's been your biggest impact when you did that? Somebody's like, damn, this is getting good traction. I mean. Like, when I, like, um, start, like, posting it on Instagram and stuff, and, like, people start, like, like hit my phone, like, damn, are you cold? Like, you know, like, and then it'd be a lot of views. And I ain't I think seen the views go up. Yeah, I'm like, damn, what the fuck? It's crazy. <laughs> I ain't never had, like, I wanted a thousand views real bad before, so 
I ain't never had that before. So when I hit a thousand views and it kept going, I'm like, damn. Miss it keep going, I'm just keep doing it then. Yeah. Y'all already, man. I'm gonna I'm yeah, try to sure. find you find you a beat. Step mess with them with, with a little bit for me. The boy say he gonna drop me sixteen. Let's see what the boy yeah, got. Yeah, you yeah, on Ball Talk One on One, man. Yeah. Let's go, Ball Talk One on One, man. Look quickly again. Rico got that fire, got that. Fire. You don't want no smoke with me. Let's get this understood. Counting all this dirty money, you straight out the mud. If you ever ask what's wrong with me, I always say I'm good. I release all this pain in one thing, and that's this wood. If you ever say what's down, I'm coming rats and we know coming out. I got those raps, so you come in and splout. I know some niggas come back and they, spout. yeah, I'm on the back. Uh. I'm on the back and the front end, uh, I'll be the back and the front end, uh, baby she come and she run in, uh, I'm on the top of the back, uh, front from the on and I flow, these niggas know how I go, these niggas know how, mm, these niggas know I don't talk, yeah, these niggas know I come back, I got the rappers come back in the slack, I got the, mm, hold on. yeah man, hold yeah, up hold man, on. Uh, yeah man, uh, hold on, Ch- hey man, I love the flow. Man, hey, I love the flow, man. man. You just like to keep I'm going. Really this nigga really freestyling, yeah, I'm freestyling he say, man. I, I, I got, no I got right these now. young niggas in there fired up. We gon' mm-hmm. yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the one you like. I like that shit. Nah. I know a lot to you. It's cool, <laughs> man. How you feel when really you be rapping, them. man? You 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 be you be loving to just just man, rap. I just be, be throwing zoning out. Yeah, man. I mean. Man, that's what when I be getting fired with my homies and stuff, feel me? I was just be getting, so we be rapping and shit in the car, and we be freestyling, man, just saying anything, man. Yeah, let, let me ask you this, man. <laughs> you mentioned earlier that you had brothers and sisters, man. How do yeah. you ever, do you ever try to look out for them? They're younger than you? Yeah, I mean, I tell them keep their head up, man, feel me? I, I'll be around like, you know, a brother, you feel me? Like, I'll be How old are they? You mean, I mean, some, some of them like, what? 12, my sister thir- just turned 13. Um, what, sh- my brothers, um, sh- I ain't seen them in a minute. They like, what, seven, eight? I got one, like, um, another sister, she a little baby. That's my, I know my mama got a baby, so, you know. Wow. Yeah, it's one of my sisters. So, so we, we, what do they say when they see you? They be happy? Yeah, they be happy to see me. Yeah. <laughs> like my big little sister brother, used to right? be up on me, man. You feel me? Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, she, she be smiling every time she see me, but, man, she be putting the paws on me. She be putting the paws on you? So, man. man, that's the way it be, man. Like, you you the family. You the big brother, man. You got to stop sure. through there and check them out whenever you get an opportunity, man. That right there, you know, help them so much, yeah. right? Don't you agree? Mm-hmm. Because they going through it. Sometimes people be going through it, man, and at the end of the day, mm-hmm. you just to see you is something that'll make them feel so much better. Right, and mm-hmm. then you might be going through it just for you to see them. It makes you feel better as well. You know Definitely, I mean? man, for real. Yeah, man, I'm going to chop but that I up But I got here. a question. Tell me your top three artists of all time, Dead, dead or alive. alive. Any genre. So it doesn't have to just be rap. Dead or Alive. Mm-hmm. Chief Keefe. <laughs> Boy, I be giving them niggas hell blind. Shy Town, really, Chief Keith had this on lock for a minute. Y'all niggas trying to act like y'all don't know, but y'all know what it is. Yeah, for real, nah, but he in the. So who's um, in number one? I'll probably get it to um, Pac. Yeah. Okay, number two. Give me something, nigga. That nigga said he, he Pac. Some, nigga, Pac Pac birthday man. tomorrow, nigga. Stop playing, mm-hmm. nigga. Pac, you niggas man. better respect so, Pac, nigga. Let's number go. Two. Number two. Uh, man, Biggie, man. He's Biggie. Right behind him. Right behind that so boy. in the past, you know, felt that torn feeling like I have to pick Biggie or I mean, Pop. I went in that era, feel me. I don't know too much about him. I I just heard stories about him and stuff. Listen to their music, yeah, listen to their music, and you feel me? Like really hear their story for real. So, man, but Pac, man, I really feel me. I could relate to a lot. What he's saying, you feel me? A lot. What he's saying, shit, still happening today. You man, mm-hmm. you know what that nigga said on the song? He say. I smoke yeah, a blunt shit, to take man. my pain out, and if I wasn't high, I'd probably try to blow my brains yeah, out. Yeah, I'm bro. hopeless. They should have killed me as a baby, man, but now they got right. me yeah, trapped in the storm. It. I'm going crazy. Forgive so, me. Man. They want to see me in my casket, and if I don't die, I'll be a victim of them bastards. Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all not ready, man. Y'all don't know the Pac a real one, bro. That nigga ain't nobody to play with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and who's yeah. your number three? Uh, number three. Uh, Biggie say I let my let, hold on. Biggie say I Keith. let my tape rock till my tape pop. Yeah, you don't know what the hell that's talking about. <laughs> that nigga, that's talking about when that cassette tape go all the way to the end, they go that big go pop, nigga. You have to yeah, flip it over to the other thing. side. Yeah, that's old school, nigga. That, that's man. old school, nigga. Yeah, nah. <laughs> that's why he said that. He said I never thought it could happen. This rapping stuff. I was too used to packing gats and stuff. No, bro. 
Y'all, you know, they, that shit, bro. these niggas yeah. was rapping, man, when it wasn't even nobody else doing it like they was doing it either. Nah, so, who was that number three? Number three. Man, Keith, man. He Chief Keith, he said he was That's in drill, there. Man. I knew, I knew you go he say Chief Keith. That my man. nigga, man. I just asked That's somebody drill, did Chief Keith create drill, didn't I? Mm -hmm. And yes, guess drill what he did, man. So That's the creator of that, man. What are everybody you? Everybody rapping, man. Everybody, everybody rapping, drill rapping, man. Bro. But everybody what about Lil Durk and the Lil Durk them? Do you listen to them? Yeah, definitely, man. I listen to Durk all them. Everybody that's you feel me. Lil Durk is one of them guys. Yeah. How how did it affect so, you when King Von got killed? You know, how did it affect the city that you think? You know, I mean, because he was in I'm, Atlanta, right? Yeah, I ain't from over there. Feel me? I, I so know you, a couple people from over there. Yeah, all the homies and shit. But did you, you listen to him? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I be listening to him, but you know, I mean, it definitely affected the city. You feel me? Like you feel me? He, he he cared about his you feel me his block so you know I mean he real he Chicago legend you feel me so you know he wasn't no bitch ass rapper that ain't giving back to you feel me his community so you know he a real nigga for you know splitting that check man he getting for the rap shit man you feel me like that's some real nigga shit like a lot of people don't come back to the hood and be like oh you feel me get y'all some bread they mm -hmm. got niggas giving sandwiches and shit but that's I never was in the room with King Von. I've been in the room with nah, uh, Chief Keith, never, you know. Yeah. But I, I I never been in the room with King King Von, you know. So yeah, me it's I just know about him for but real. I definitely uh uh shout out to Asian Doll. Asian Doll is from Dallas, so that was his that was his uh you know his girl when he passed yeah. away. So for you sure. know that that's the kind of stuff that I do know that that's she probably when I do interview that those questions will come up. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. There's another guy down here, Duck. What's his name? FBG Duck. FBG Duck. Duck. Yeah. <laughs> was he from the other side of town or no? Mm -hmm. So he from, mm -hmm. he from what part is he? What is he? Sixty third. Sixty third. So that, that's a different side of town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, Chicago is different, man. It's like oh, it's got east side, west side. So east, you couldn't go to his side of town. I, was, I can go wherever I want to. But. But it's you got to be just yeah. you got to stay ready, right? Yeah, for so you got to be ready for whatever. You feel me, like 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 if you go to certain parts of town, do people automatically know you're not from that side of that town? I mean, hell like yeah, you know what I mean. mean? You on the block all the time, you know what's going. So you in see it when a nigga don't, you like who that nigga right there? No, like now who the fuck? Like, yeah, cause most of these car. people raise so, amongst each other. So have yeah. you ever been in your neighborhood and somebody get caught off off guard by like Slipping. like who is that? I mean, yeah, like we like. We ask them like, where you where you from? Like, where you you feel me? Like, where you going? Like, and they be, they ain't be nobody. <laughs> it was, you know, you guys, you yeah. might have been too young to remember. Like, well, and that's not gonna be happening on my my, my block, man. It'd be cool and that shit. Well, on, yeah. on it's a show that was on TV called Empire, yeah. and they had a guy by the name of Jesse Smoulet, and this guy said that he had got. You know, like kidnapped, beat up at night, three in the morning. Mm. Uh, he was, <laughs> and, 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 but they end up saying that it wasn't true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm. And uh, I just was saying in Chicago, man, you at two, three in the morning, is people out at night? Yeah. Not too many people like as it is if it's early, but. Yeah. It'd be people out there all night? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Say, I'll be out all night. Dude, man. <laughs> it was another little dude yeah, that just got killed here about a week ago. What was this guy's name? He was he was affiliated with that duck guy, FB. Oh, you talking about Cash, man. Cash. FBG What's his Cash. name? FBG Cash. Like FBG Cash. Yeah. And that was here. Now, that was that in Chicago that he got killed? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Wow. So, do when you hear about so, this stuff, because it's happening all the time, yeah, yeah. do you, do, do how does that affect you? It's normal for you. It's just normal because yeah. you've been born into it. Definitely, man. Is it like every week something crazy happens? Yeah, yeah. about then every day, not wow. every week. Every so, day. How, what would change that? Shit, nothing. 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 Not even like say politician come up and start trying to do right by the people, try to get everything. Nothing, no. Man. Ain't nothing gonna Why? Stop it, because man, they just don't want to change. Man, it's been going on past. Shit. Yeah, man. Way before it. Was so just because it's been going on man. for uh, generations in the Shit. past, that mean that there's no possibility of change. Nah, cause people, man. I mean, revenge. People like got their own feelings, and people like if they got that in their heart, they want to kill somebody. Feel they gonna they gonna do it. 
Gotcha. Oh man, um, if you could go back and change anything that you that you've mm-hmm. been through within the last, say, four years, uh, five years, what would you change? Nothing. You keep it all the same. Why? Keep it all the same. And just because it just made me who I am. You feel me? Like everything, I feel like everything do happen for a reason. Like it's going, it's everything got a cause and effect. You feel me? Like so. Man, you if you come from the struggle, man, a lot of times, man, deep down, man, you carve that rock out, man, you gonna find some some decent man jewels, shit. So if you you feel me, like it's just on how you built. You feel me? Crazy part about it is, man, you on Boss Talk One O One, man. A lot of people trying to get on this station, man. It's crazy how it happened that you got here, man. man Shout out to your shit. kin people over there, man. Yeah, that man, happen, put me man. on. Man. I ain't never did no part. This is my first. One. Yeah, nigga, we pulled shit. you out of just nigga nowhere, nigga. <laughs> he did that, that to you, shit, man. man. That boy shit. did that to you. You, 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 gotta, you gotta give it up. That's man, your I manager, sure, nigga. Man. You don't even realize it. <laughs> he definitely said he said, man. I'm yeah. your manager. That's nigga. for real. That's your manager, man. So at the end of the day, for him to make that move for you, that's what managers do yeah, they look out man. you know what so, i'm saying when you ain't even thinking about them they're thinking about you man, so that's love man so, big love man so you got to keep them kind around man, man. that's that's time, genuine man. you know um sure. so uh how can people get a hold of you on uh ig man, you can follow me man i love chris man 223 underscore Okay, yeah. and you and you gonna follow Boss Talk today? Yeah, you gonna sure. tap in because yeah, you gotta you gotta in, tap man. in, and sure. anytime you know what I'm saying you yeah. if you ever in Texas you gonna come see me in Dallas. Man, if I'm ever sure. in the shy, I'm gonna get you back on the show, man. We yeah, gonna keep this thing sure, rolling, man. man. Uh, is good, it anything? Man. Did we leave anything out? Anything you want to shout out? Anybody you want to shout out? Man. Some of the people that mean a lot to you. Man, shout out everybody that been rocking with me, man. Shit, man. you know I. Shit, this music shit, man. I'm finna take off for real on this shit, man. So I can help everybody else out. That's dope, it man. Definitely is, man. man. If I ever get on, you feel me? Like, Ain't no if, I'm but the back if, to the yeah, city, yeah. So. No, you doing your thing, regardless, nigga. You gonna get it on. Check it, man. Sure, man. Say, man, it's been another great segment. A boss talk one on one. What a boss is talk, man. Yeah, sure. And we out. Well.